All right, everybody, welcome back to the number one television show in the history of the universe. I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon, The Blackest Heart, and The Lonesome Crown. All three books published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. Today, I am going to be showing you my entire Simon R. Green book collection. Now, here's the thing. Simon R. Green has written a lot, a lot of different fantasy and science fiction series. I don't own all of them. I own three of them. And we're going to talk about them. Um, I don't know if I'll ever get all of them. I mean, it's just an exhaustive, extensive collection of books the dude has written. Um, he's from England. So he's from the UK, uh, based out of there. And uh, his books sort of have... A UK sensibility to them, especially his urban fantasy series, which we're going to get to up here. So let's start off with the book that introduced me to Simon R. Green, and that is Deathstalker. Now, the Deathstalker series of seven books is one of my top, it's in my top ten of all science fiction series of all time. I mean, it just is. It's just that good and I have reviewed the first two books in the series on my channel gosh maybe three I can't remember how many just type in my my last name Durfee and death stalker onto your YouTube search uh, engine and uh, the, the the reviews will come up and I think I reviewed the first two I'm not sure though eh, you know should have it's been a while it's been a while since I've read any of these anyway let's just talk about so death stalker just one of the great science fiction series of all time. Mo the most action-packed. I will tell you right now, this is the most action-packed science fiction space opera series ever written. Bar none. It's bloody, grim, gruesome, explosive fun. And let's talk about the series as a whole. So, the series of seven books... It looks great! Look at that. I mean, why wouldn't you want this series on your shelf? They all look like they belong together from book one all the way to book seven. The publisher did a great job of making sure they all looked sharp and every one of the covers is just got a great illustration by an artist who I don't know who it was. That is not listed anywhere. But each book has such a cool illustration and we will go through and show you each one of these. Deathstalker War, Deathstalker Honor. Look how cool those covers are. Deathstalker Destiny. Deathstalker Legacy. And then Deathstalker Coda and Deathstalker Return. Absolutely one of my favorite series of all time. I messed up the order of these books here, but we'll put them back on the shelf here. They're completely out of order now, but we'll leave those and move on to this series of books, his Hawk and Fisher books. Now, this is six books, but it's been compiled into two omnibuses of three books each. I would at some point like to get the individual books themselves rather than the omnibus. I've never been an omnibus fan. But they're really difficult to find. I don't, I've don't. i searched all over eBay. Even I can't even find one of the six existing in, in mint condition. Because you know I'm not going to buy them unless they're in mint condition. And I can't even find one of them. And there's a, there's a few here and there that are in real crapola condition. Um, but for now, we'll just have to stick to the um, omnibus editions. I have not read this series at all. I don't know anything about the Hawk and Fisher series, but I want to get into it because if it's anything, this looks like more of a Conan-esque, Red Sonia-esque fantasy adventure series. And if it's anything, as, if it's any bit as good as science fiction, it's going to be dope. But the omnibuses look all right, you know. They look all right. I mean, not, I'm nothing to write home about uh, stylistic-wise from the covers and stuff, but... It is what it is. Now let's get to his big urban fantasy series of 12 books. This is the Night Side series, and it's kind of very Jim Butcher, Dresden-esque in tone. Now, for the most part, the spines look 
okay. Uh, yeah, they, I think they all look like they belong in the in the same series. They're, I mean, it's it's all right. I can live with that. The spines all look matching. The covers are all done. I, the, the covers, though. The covers. Some of the covers are just exquisite. I just really like that this is book one, um, something from the night side. I did read and review this on the channel. Just a great cover. That's just dope. And then we've got um, Agents of Light and Darkness, another equally cool cover. We have uh, Nightingale's Lamet, cool cover. So if you're wondering what these books are like, just picture the Dresden Files, but set in London with like way more quirky characters, like the underground of London and stuff like that. That's a cool cover. And then we've got uh, Paths Not Taken, really colorful, really great designed cover. These, these, and one of the reasons I like collecting the Simon R. Green books is because the publishers have really given him knockout artwork for, you know, Sharper Than a Serpent's Tooth, Hell to Pay. I mean, tell me that these covers suck because they don't. That one is unnatural something or other. The, uh, Just Another Judgment Day. The good, the bad, and the uncanny. I like how each one of them has a different color scheme to it, too. Um, and then last, but certainly not least, The Bride Wore Black Leather. Great, great urban fantasy series. Of course, I've only read the first one. And I liked it. And we'll eventually read and review all of these on the channel. But that is my entire Simon R. Green collection i know there are other series he's written if you've read the other series and you would recommend them let me know let the viewers know in the comment section and uh, so anyway i just thought i'd show you that and we're off